everyone and welcome to my Christmas special doll repaint video. If you follow my channel already for a while, you know that last year for Christmas I made the Santa girl. And this year I've decided to keep making these unmissable attributes of Christmas and today we are going to make a Christmas tree doll. I think it's a funny concept, it's gonna be cartoonish, pretty, very dollish, very you know, Christmas style, so I think it's a good concept for a Christmas makeover. And my mom is going to help me today, we've planned this makeover probably in August I would say, so we had time enough to prepare a doll, so this doll today is going to have lots of different accessories, extra things and so forth, because we really had time to prepare all these extras. So, let's keep it short probably today, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, put your likes if you really enjoyed this video, and let's take all my things that I need for working and let's go! For this makeover I will use Frankie Stein doll, just because my mom has made a very tight fitting head for this doll using Frankie as a model. So I will take this same doll as well to be sure that the head will fit like it should in the end. First I like always remove the doll's cloth and cut her hair off. Afterwards I make her head soft with a hair dryer, then I can take it off without making any damage, because this part always stays a risky business. And then I take my tweezers and remove the rest of the hair from the inside of the doll's head. <laughs> yeah, lots of nasty glue this time. And then I remove her original face with pure acetone. I didn't remove the black paint from her head, because now I'm going to give her dark hair again. But this time I'm going to mix this dark brown saran hair with this rainbow tinsel. There is nothing new in my rerouting method, I take a tiny strand of hair, add tinsel and insert it in a hole in the head with the rerouting tool. It took me two evenings to complete the reroute, but it looks absolutely stunning now, look at this. And now I'm going to add quite a lot of tacky glue inside of her head and spread it in there nicely with q-tips. And then I let the glue dry for 24 hours. When the glue dries completely, I protect the doll's hair and I seal her face with three layers of Mr. Super Clear sealant. I've showed you already once or twice how to choose what color pastels to use to change a doll's skin tone easily, but maybe not everyone has seen it, so here we are again. I go to the Harmonizer tab on the Color Lab app on my phone, and I find the color very close to the original doll's body tone. And then I blush the doll with the opposite color that the app picks for you. It's basically the opposite one on the color wheel. So, following the app, I blush the doll with two layers of this slight dusty pink pastels, and I use the sealant between the layers to set the powder. After the two layers of pink pastels, the green color is completely gone, and I can apply two layers of this light burnt amber pastels on top of it, creating a natural light skin tone. 
And don't forget about the sealant, of course. And that's it! Just in four layers, we've turned the green skin color of this doll into a nice, basic, nature-looking skin tone. And now let's sketch her eyes and eyebrows. Then I contour her face to give it some extra dimension and for this I'm using pastels a little bit darker than her skin tone. And then I add a touch of pink blush. Using brownish pencils, I draw the eye creases and the eyelids. Now I'm going to start drawing her eyes and I will give her green eyes this time. Because her complete look is based on a very Christmas style color combination of red and green. So she will have green eyes and red lips. This layer I protect again with Mr. Super Clear and then I start drawing the eyes more detailed. I add shadows to the white of her eyes, then I add colorful accents and highlights to the iris, and I draw also the waterline with a red pencil. To complete the shadowing of the eyelids, I apply a touch of brown pastels there. And now I can apply the highlights to the eyes and to the eyelids. Now it's time to give her pretty red lips. To make the contrast between red and green even stronger, I add some red color as a transition shade to her eyelids. Once 
With a light pencil, I draw the highlighted areas on her face and then it's very important to blend the pencil really good before you spray it with the sealant. With an extremely sharp black pencil, I draw the bottom eyelashes and the eyeliner. And I also think she needs more blush. This is how her head looks next to the body and it means now is the time to blush the body as well. First of all I need to cut off the pin in her neck and then I sand the body with nail buffers to remove the glossy top from it, because paint will not stick to the glossy surface. Then I remove my own fingerprints and other dirty spots from it with an acetone-free nail polish remover. You cannot use acetone to clean such a plastic doll body because acetone will simply melt it. And then I spray the body with three layers of Mr. Super Clear sealant. And then I can finally blush it with the same color pastels like I used for her face. Don't forget, this doll is going to be a Christmas tree in the end of this makeover, and it means she should shine even more. That's why I'm going to give her golden freckles. For this, I've mixed golden acrylic paint with water a little bit, and now I can spray the freckles onto her face and the body, of course. And all the messy spots I can clean up with Q-tips. Then add reflections to her eyes using white acrylic paint. So the painting part is over now and let's work on the details and the accessories. First of all, I want to make her hair lay more flat. Most of the doll artists use hot wash for it, but honestly, I absolutely don't understand why do you need to make your brand new hair wet and then wait for 20 hours until it dries. So I will use like always a hair dryer to do this job, it works as good and you don't need to play with boiling water and then wait for hours. Now I want to cut her hair a little bit shorter because now it's almost till her knees long. I'm not going to use the hair dryer anymore, so I can finally attach the eyelashes and the gloss to her eyes and lips. These lashes cannot resist the heat from the hair dryer, so I always attach them after I'm done with using it. I do her hair into ponytails and you can see now they look kinda chopped. So I trim the ends of the tails to make them look more natural. And I also want to make the ponytails more fluffy. And now it's time for the outfit! And here we have such a Christmas tree dress made by my mom, decorated with tiny Christmas tree balls. For her shoes we've decided to make felt snow boots and now my mom will show you how she's made them using the wet felting technique. First you need to make a shape of the boot and then cut it out of a piece of a bubble wrap.
Then you cover it with wool. Make it wet with soapy water. And then you kind of roll and knead it until this wool felts completely. And here they are, dry and completely ready to wear. Let's put them on the doll. The next step is making a hat for her, because every single Christmas tree needs a top decoration. And to make a good basic hat, my mom used some new for me kind of a material. It's called polymorph plastic, and these tiny balls become like some sort of clay when you put them in hot water. And you can make any shape out of it, and then after a couple of minutes it becomes hard plastic again. You see, that's why I needed to use the same kind of doll like my mom used to make this hat. Then she attached a plastic star on top of this basic hat and covered it all with red glitter. And here is the Christmas tree star. And then using a needle felting technique, my mom makes a little friend for my Christmas tree girl. Honestly, I've never tried felting myself. It looked too difficult to me always or something, but now I think I want to learn how to do it as well. It looks not that difficult at all. Look what a cutie we have here! And then in our local store I found this sleigh that is perfectly monster high doll size. So now I want to decorate it a little bit and then give it to my doll.
And now we can finally say it. Merry Christmas, everyone! My doll and her snowman assistant are on the way to give a kiss to everyone who puts a like under this video. And I wish all the best to you, to your families, to the ones that you love. Please keep dreaming and stay creative and open-minded. Try new things, open new horizons. And I will be here to entertain you with new doll projects every week Friday. I really hope you enjoyed this Christmas special makeover. Please write me in a comment what you think about all what has happened here. And let's just wish Merry Christmas to one another under this video. This doll will be available to buy on eBay, the link will be in the description box. And the next week Friday, it's by the way the last doll repaint of 2018. So, I'm preparing another special makeover, so please be sure that you're subscribed to my channel, set the bell button to not miss my new videos, and of course, don't forget to hit the like if you enjoy this Christmas special makeover. Thank you for being with me today, have the warmest and the coziest holidays. Bye!